I did not know slavery exists until I went to prison. See, I can speak about slavery, right? Because I've been a slave. The 13th Amendment abolished slavery unless you've been convicted of a crime. Do, 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 do you understand what I'm saying? I catch you. I'm inventory at the age of 17, a slave for the state of Texas to, to serve eight years of servitude in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. Now, why you say a slave? Because some people think that, hey, once you're there, you just get a bunk bed, you get a book, and you get to just sit there in, in boring silence for the rest okay. of the days. You ask me why I said slavery? Let's go. Have you ever seen a nigga pick cotton? Uh, no. Nah. Where have you seen a nigga pick cotton at? Never in my life. A slave, though. Oh, slave, slave, yeah, slave, slave. slave yeah. Nigga, I was sent to pick cotton. That's why I said. Oh, I'm so you? Slave. So wait, wait. So I was sent to sit. I was. Wait, wait, I, right, I so, ain't never seen nothing but a slave pick cotton. Wait, wait. So yeah. you have actually picked cotton off the cotton plant. I have picked. So I see this video online, some guy telling some story about when he was in jail in the penitentiary. Uh, I'd already, I already told y'all I had been to the penitentiary. Y'all already know that. So uh, I had to work in a uh, whole squad. That's the name of it, whole squad. You get what I'm saying? That's when you work outside. I told you we had to chop down trees, big ass trees with Aggies and shit. You get what I'm saying? Uh, he got 5,000 views on that video, yeah, but, but he lied, you know, he call it slavery. He was a slave or something like that, bro. You're in the front of fucking penitentiary and shit. Like even just us, when we, when I went to penitentiary, I was in, uh, I was all the way out there in like the country and shit like that. You get me where, where they grew their own vegetables and stuff like that. So we had the fucking, uh, you know, uh, plant, uh, shit. We had to make sure the rose was like, he can, he call it slavery or something like that. Whatever, bro. You're doing time. You get me? How could you be a slave when you have an out date? You get what I'm saying? How can you be? I, I would not equate going to jail to being a slave. You get what I'm saying? I, I won't say it. Will I say that? Thanks, granddad. Granddad, what do you do when you can't do nothing, but there's nothing you can do? Do what you can. These the stories that need to be told more to the youth. Thirteen Amendment, it's all there and has been there for twenty years, two hundred years. Slavery is abolished itself upon conviction. I was in Angoria, Goria, whatever, Angoria. Line 16, Bar Kane, need his greens. 20 more sacks and y'all could go in. I was a slave for five years for free in that bitch hard labor. True be told facts. I know a lot of dudes talk about picking cotton in the penitentiary with sacks and the boot. Oh, man on a horse talking about you. See a snake, you better not kill it. <laughs> I remember that. Ah, Anthony Houston. Hmm, explains enough. A monkey would be a refreshing step up from you. A monkey would talk less. Here's a little tip. If your instinct tells you to do something, don't do it. If your instinct tells you not to do something, it's probably the right thing to do. You want to hurt me? Go right ahead if it makes you feel any better. I'm an easy target. Yeah, you're right. I talk too much. I also listen too much. I could be a cold-hearted cynic like you. You think what you want about me, I'm not changing. I like, I like me. My friends like me. Cause I'm the real article. What you see is what you get. Uh, have I said that? I, don't, I wouldn't call it a slave, you get me? I, I, I can't, I would not equate what my ancestors went through with me doing a crime and going to fucking jail. 
I'm doing hard time. Back in the days, these motherfuckers had to fucking hit rocks, little rocks, big rocks. All you doing is picking some fucking cotton out there in the field. And don't act like they was fucking screaming at you, nigga, get that cotton, nigga, and all that other shit like that. But you make it seem like it's the biggest deal in the world and stuff. But I get it. It's the internet. All you motherfuckers do is lie and try to make everything seem like a problem. Y'all are y'all worst enemies. And it's cool. I don't have a many followers on my fucking channel or something like that and I can't make money off of YouTube but y'all give it to the people trash ass people who just spend it and give it. they don't give a fuck about y'all you get what I'm saying here I am out here stuck in a world with these motherfucking people you motherfuckers are liar you get what I'm saying I ain't never asked for no handout and I did more time than that motherfucker you get what I'm saying all I'm trying to do is just give true and honest content and stuff and I can't even get no fucking uh, fucking followers, no subscribers and stuff to my channel, bro, so I can make maybe a little bit of this YouTube money, maybe get something going for myself, my life, you get me? I motherfucking went to jail, I had to do fucking time for something I didn't fucking do, and shit like that and stuff, and here I am trying to be a productive person in a world full of you fucking liars, all you fucking do is lie and shit like that, I lose job because of liars and shit, I'm trying to be honest, and trying to be a nice person and stuff, and that shit killing me me every goddamn time what y'all want me to be like y'all liars you get what i'm saying sit and try to make every problem bigger than what it is should i be a ltbgt member because that's the way y'all make it y'all make a society where you have no choice but to be scum in order to make it because y'all don't want honest people y'all want scum y'all want shows y'all want actors that's why everybody coming out of somebody's uterus right now is playing the victim because it gets you brownie points and i i don't know how to do that okay i don't know how to be a victim i don't know how to pretend i don't know how to make no script i don't know how to be like everybody else i just know how to be my fucking self because myself is what made me survive all this time all that time in jail picking cotton picking potatoes Potatoes, chopping down goddamn trees, fighting my, for my goddamn life and shit. Then I get out here and learn that this place is the same damn place. Y'all are the same motherfucking inmates. And I never even got out. I never got out. I still got dreams. Thanks, Granddad. Granddad, what do you do when you can't do nothing, but there's nothing you can do? You do what you can. I can't even grow into my dreams. Thank y'all for not subscribing. I try to give y'all the benefit of the doubt. I didn't. I don't ask for money. I don't ask for money. I don't ask for subscribers. Because I, I, I would figure that y'all would understand how this works. I, I try to give the videos. Maybe like it. Or comment. Tell me why you don't like it. You get me? I am sad. I'm very depressed.
You want to hurt me? Go right ahead if it makes you feel any better. I had, I had, I gave y'all a lot more credit. <laughs>